what would you imagine to be the stepdad's motive? I couldn't tell you. I just think he's a sick man. And, <laughs> and have you seen Wendell since Selena's death, and did you confront him? Yes, sir. Numerous times. I'm sorry. Say that again. I said numerous times. I have seen him and confronted him and told him that I just wish you'd admit what you have done. And what does he say? He said he didn't do it. He said he doesn't have to talk to me. Uh, and the whole time that I'm talking to him, his cheeks buff in and out. He definitely doesn't like to see me when he sees me because he knows I'm going to say something to him. What is it that makes you so certain? Is it, is it that he is so disconnected from reality? Did you have some evidence? I mean, what, what was it? Uh, right after it happened, I had a dream that I was in the water when Selena was thrown in the water. And when I, before I woke up, his face was what I saw. And when I was 17 years old, a friend of mine, and he, and he, he picked us up hitchhiking, a friend of mine and, and myself. And we rode around and were drinking beer, and he picked up an underage girl that was in the car with him, and he received oral sex from her. And my friend and I got out of the vehicle. And this, again, these are, we can't refute or confirm what Dan Cass is saying. This is not HLN's independent corroboration. Dan, did Wendell go to Celine's memorial service? As far as I know, he did, yes. He did go. And was his behavior yes. appropriate there? I was told, I was not there personally, Dr. Drew, but I was told while he was there that he went over and took her pictures and put them face down 